in the Bioshock and, and I'm going to explore where Doc Infinite oh went oh yeah I know uh Bioshock Infinite is is actually it's more of an experiment in art in my opinion than anything else it's 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 rich it's a full world but it's also like walking through a painting and it's dull sometimes and feels like a grind so as far as a game it's not I guess it is a game I don't know you know if you think about it the original Bioshock right came out in 1999 and Back then, you know, I didn't expect as much from the world. I was just happy to get something that looked nice and played relatively well. I mean, that was still like, not like very common at that time. Uh, it wasn't a good game. Uh, but you know, as, as I evolved, though, it's like this game is a game of an era. You know, it feels static. I've moved on. I'm older. I'm not. You know, playing that. I, I played Skyrim. You know, which is a very rich world and offers you know beauty parallel to this you know I mean it's it's an amazing world itself you get drawn in and you can interact with everything in this game you can't interact with anything it's frustrating Are you going to open it? it's no good damn it I thought once we were here I, I could fully control it I, I thought what is that it's a key where did it come from it's always I... been there I just and see it. And that's the other, my other biggest gripe. Elizabeth looks great. Um, her animations are great, but God, is everything so dull and lifeless? You feel like you're you're killing mannequins most of the time. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I get a good example of it coming up. See, not stars. They're doors. Doors to to every. All that's left is the choosing. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is pretty gorgeous, and, and you know, it's, uh, this isn't easy, and I don't want to belittle the team and their work and everything they did, because I, like I said, I couldn't do this, but, you know, my only critique is, a million, million worlds, all different, is, all similar, you know, if, if you remember, what? there's always a lighthouse, there's always a man, there's always a city, how do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. But sometimes, something's different. We have to say. Constants and variables. Yes. Constants and variables. You know, I was on a different thought, but I'm just going to go to this point. This whole story, like right now, just sort of sums up an episode of Lost. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the TV show Lost out there. It was a, kind of a phenomenon here at the time. They probably started development on this game, I'm assuming. Um, the, there's an episode, a particular episode, called The Constant with uh, a character named Desmond. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. I'm going to save your brother. A penny. Where's my penny at? Uh, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible accent I just did there. But I always do it to my brothers, dude. I always go, hey, brother. Hey, brother. Brother. Hey. Anyways, that's beside the point. But in that episode, it sort of sums up what this story is about here. In that Desmond needs a constant. His constant is his group because he's time traveling, right? And he's on the island of Lost, and like it's some kind of time travel paradox thing going on. And it's just look, just just go to the wiki on Lost, whatever. You'll see what I'm saying. But anyways, the whole point is he has this constant, and it's his wife, and she's his memory, and, and he pieces everything back together from her, and that's how he stays sane as he time travels. Um, this isn't a time travel theory, this is a multiple universe theory, although it's still sort of the same story in that you take a different version of you out of your timeline and insert him into another, he's going to freak out because things are slightly different, but he, he learns to adapt apparently, I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm completely off with that. Let's keep moving forward though. Look. It's us. Not exactly. We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. It always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There are so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Booker. You've already been. 
Have you really been? If you don't have a sense of being, even though your corporeal self is there. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so what I was going to say back there is the original Bioshock in 1999 was like, uh, like a thing in how to do water, right? Like, so these guys perfected water. Like, that was their whole goal. I remember reading the articles on it at the time in the video game magazines, trade magazines, whatever. It's all about water, water physics, water dynamics, making it flow, making it look right. And they succeeded at that. So I wonder if this game was to master air or draw distances. Because, I mean, look at that. I mean, the that, that, that in itself is very impressive. I and mean, that's where I go on my kick where I feel like I'm actually just walking through a painting in this game. And there just happens to be stuff going on. And it's like, okay, stuff going on. But, you know, that's not enough to hold my attention these days anymore because there's games like Skyrim where it's like experiencing a world. And that's what I demand as a gamer. I need experience. I was here. It must have been 20 years ago, right, right after Wounded Knee. I was looking for... Come on now, time's a waste. Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. And, and, you know... No, I don't want to. Are you already Here's what I'm talking about. Look at this guy's eyes. Just look. Are Just you look. ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? I mean, is he blind? Or is his eyes that dull? I don't know. I can't tell. Is is it's uh, is this a blind priest in a in a river giving me a baptism? I mean, these guys look awful. They just they just they don't. I mean, they look they look like I don't know. It's it's stylized. It looks good, but it doesn't. Anyways, back to the story. Ah, get off me! You think a dunk in the river is gonna change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. Hey, look, these doors of yours, they're they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. Comstock, Comstock, Comstock. Ugh, Comstock. Anyways, my point is, is those characters are extremely lifeless. 